that's um, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Butterfingers. But alright, we are in two dust towers. It's game number one of this best of five. We have swapped up everything, so everything's gonna be all types of confusing now. This is our second of four best of fives for us. Uh, mainstream, of course, covering different games, and uh, we're on dust towers. So on the top right, as the blue zerg, it is sort of. Sort of what? He's sort of blue. <laughs> And in the bottom left-hand corner of the map, we have the red Zerg player representing Team Root for Root. Give it up for Hydra. I North American think... Hope. Um, uh, but yeah, a lot of people, I think, moving into this have been predicting Hydra to take the entire tournament. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this is going to be one step in uh, that's necessary if he wants to show that domination, show that... Uh, Korean work ethic, or whatever you want to call it, and show that he's a, a contender. Yeah, I was really honestly surprised when people said that he was going to be not just a contender, because certainly he's a contender for the finals and the, and the win, the overall win, but uh, almost a shoe win. I don't know, I just we don't see that much of Hydra yeah, in our online cups. I don't, I mean, I, yeah, I, I don't entirely agree with the idea that like Hydra is a sure win, but I still see a lot of reasoning why a lot of people would feel like, hey, you know, Hydra is a, you know, former BlizzCon uh, qualified player has shown unbelievable dominance in the North American scene uh, where he was playing for WCS and even in Premier League, one of the top, uh, top players alongside Polt. So I can see a lot of the reasoning why people would expect a lot out of Hydra in this tournament, but it is a, a different world and Legacy of the Void is a very different, different, uh, different place to be yeah. playing. So he did have a little trouble with Namshar. That was the person he played in the round of 32. It was a 3-2 after being down one, actually. And uh, sort of definitely has the bigger name. You recognize the name a lot more than Namshar, unless you're a base JTV fan, I suppose. <laughs> which is going to be opposite. But uh, Namshar has been rising quietly, but steadily, and sometimes even in bursts in all of his matchups, so um, I don't really want to say that, you know, Hydra's gonna have a tougher time with Sort of, because honestly, he might have a easier time. It also also, it also comes down to playstyles, too. Uh, unfortunately, no mm -hmm. one was casting that best of five, so we have no idea how it went. Yeah. Well, we do have first couple of Zergans coming in for Hydra, gonna be able to immediately scout out everything and say, okay, you are taking that uh, faster in-base third expansion, a cute little maneuver that I, I'd like to see from a uh, Players where they take the low ground, the more exposed third expansion first. But uh, besides that, I guess making sure that your opponent's mining gas, making sure that they aren't pooling up zerglings in their main base, these are good things to scout for. Yes, all great things. <laughs> also gets eyes on the banelings, but I think he also saw the baneling nest, so it's a little mm -hmm. repetitive. Yeah. Uh, Hydra not really bothering with his own. Just like, yeah, I don't think you're going to attack me. Or if you do attack me, I'm not going to take it seriously, which is a little mm. dangerous to do. It's Dust Towers. Certainly can still... You know, Ling's, Ling's kind of make the game... Or not the game. The, uh, the map a little... Like, you know, doesn't really matter. <laughs> so long distances. You can still definitely 14 pool or 12 pool or Ling all in or really whatever you want to do. And sometimes mm -hmm. the mental edge works out better. So Hydra really is playing quite bold. Yeah, absolutely. And I was wondering, you know, when you do skip the banelingness, you generally say, okay, I'm going to try and do a fast tech up to something a little bit further down the line and not waste that early gas on baneling. So what is he going for? Turns out he's going for Rochus. He's also getting up a much faster lair tech. And we'll see if this pays off because sort of is going to have a nice little window of opportunity where he's going to say, hey, you don't really have banelings. You're going to have pure speedlings and maybe eventually going to have some Roaches, but uh, you're not going to have a lot to deal with this. But no, he's droning up behind this. It's kind of hard for him to make that judgment call based on uh, not seeing too much. They're matching each other for the most part. Uh, Hydra mm -hmm. is starting to take little bits of leads because, you know, every time, he, every time you watch him, it's like, okay, he gets a layer a little bit faster, okay, that, you know, he gets the, uh, the Roach worn a little bit faster. And he was starting to eke ahead and drone just a tiny little bit, but sort of is right on his tail on most of those things, including that layer. Um, actually, a little ahead on that plus one could play a part, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh, this thing's being a nuisance. Ooh, coming off a drone. Pretty nice. Uh, whoa, they're being super duper annoying. They do finally get cleaned up, but uh, really like the control out there from Hydra. Yeah, four drones killed so far from Hydra, none from Sorta. There's the roach speed that's going to give Hydra a little bit of control over the game. 
they just entirely, uh, basically skipped the Ling Bling part where, you know, I guess it makes sense to dust towers. You know, if it's, a, if it's central protocol, <laughs> uh, having Ling speed can actually sometimes even guarantee you uh, a third cancel if your opponent, you know, held off on those Bane Lings. But a uh, map like dust towers, and you just need to make sure this ramp is, well, I guess this ramp is mostly covered. This can be protected otherwise. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we are seeing the spire being dropped down behind oh. all this for Hydra. Uh, so, a bit... mm, go ahead. Go, go ahead. You, you go ahead. Mine's a personal complaint. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna say this is a bit different than what I, I usually see. Where oftentimes it will be the fast tech up to spire, skipping the roaches, and you get out eight to ten mutilists, harass a bit, clean up overlords, and then you go into roaches. But we're seeing almost like the opposite. So in Heart of the Swarm, this, these, these late spires, were they're done sometimes for professionals, but whenever I saw them oh. in my own ZVZs, I was like, who does this? This is so stupid. And now Legacy of the Void, it's actually becoming more and more common. Um, so now mm -hmm. I have to deal with it all the time whenever I random get ZVZ, and it just, it's infuriating, Fear Dragon, it really is. <laughs> But luckily for sort of, he's not just going for roaches and that slow crawl up to infest infestors of hydras where a surprise amount of mutilists can actually kind of snowball. He's also going for a nidus worm, which is going to allow him the drones to come through, potentially, or queens if he realizes that it's a spire. The point is just his army is going to get over there a little bit quicker. Now, sword does not have roach Ooh. speed, and hydra is really taking advantage of that. Uh, cute placement for the nidus worm, but uh, the- Oh, oh my damn! God, the so well timed, Hydra's been practicing Whoa. that. Taking it out in beautiful, beautiful fashion. Ah. Um, <laughs> he'll be eating a couple of these corrosive biles on, uh, as he uh, chases after this army, but this is the thing the Overseer did come in and scout out that Nidus Worm, on top of the fact that uh, that may have encouraged sort of to just plant down the Nidus Worm in clear vision, but very, very strange to place it so obviously in front of Hydra. That was such a slap down. That was like a six foot five like NBA player playing. It's like a twelve year old just like slap. No, <laughs> that was. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that go down it so was, quickly. It was pretty brutal. And right now Hydra is starting to push on in. The Roach count is definitely thinning out a bit for sort of, but the reinforcement's going to be coming in much much faster for sort of, and that might be enough for him to push back. Uh, push back, but not, you know, cane back and even footing here as his numbers are still looking mm -hmm. quite bad. Hydra might re or, uh, get over here slower, but he has more roaches eventually getting over here. Uh, of course, the plus ones, which sort of did have an advantage on, didn't actually play a part in this game. And now Hydra is ahead on that upgrade. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you were saying, you know, with the superior roach count, he can do something like establish his fourth expansion while denying a fourth expansion from uh, sort of as long as he doesn't take any kind of terrible engagement. Um, and of course, he does have the Spire as well, so now he can start making some of those Mutalists. Maybe he has to be a little bit careful about how many Mutalists he makes, just because he doesn't want to invest too much gas into it, and uh, kind of fall behind in that Roach Ravager count. But, you know, being able to seize whatever advantages, cleaning up the Overlords, getting off a couple of free kills on Ravagers, that's all going to be well and good. Sort of has spotted the Spire, by the way, but might think, like, uh, I hope he's going for all-in roaches, or maybe he didn't notice that he scouted it, I'm not sure, but he's going quite all-in with these roaches. Uh, he has a lot of queens back at home, and a couple of sp uh, spore, no, one, one spore crawler, oh, Ooh. okay. Oh, we got a Nidus Worm 2.0 going down, uh, this one's a little bit better defended, not gonna allow those gross battle shots to just go off on the Nidus Worm this time. But it's still a, a bit of a further away Nidus Worm. It's more like a half map Nidus Worm. It's a, hey, my queens can move on Crick now. So they are no longer hyper mobile units. Yeah. But the numbers, the number game was in favor of Hydra. Now he's starting to uh, increase the numbers actually with the, the reinforcements oh. he's getting. Bringing home the Mutas as well. That's what the queens are brought here for. As well as, of course, transfusing. But that is a uh, fight sort of is not going to win. GG. Hydra. Showing some uh, smackdown, <laughs> showing a bit of a smackdown, uh, yeah, sort of. No, definitely.